Welcome to the News Car 24H. Please subscribe to the channel to receive the latest news. Los Angeles isn't just the city of angels, but the city of sequels. For the 2017 Los Angeles Auto Show officially known to its organizers and no one else as Automobile of LA that means more SUVs. The ultimate tentpole attraction that ensures industry buzz, sales, and profits. If that makes LA yet another auto show that's as predictably generic as a Transformers flick dot 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 well, these rampaging, increasingly robotic SUVs will have to do. At least until automakers can turn their electric concepts such as Mercedes AMG's 1000 HP Project 1 hypercar, making its North American debut into showroom reality. FCA all new Wrangler cleans up nicely for the red carpet in LA from three row. Tardy to market haulers the Subaru Ascent or BMW's Concept X7 to an all new 2018 Jeep Wrangler and crossovers like the Volvo XC40. These SUVs are charged with staving off an inevitable cyclical drop in car sales for a few more years. In the wake of the Great Recession of 2009, American new vehicle sales recovered quickly and have climbed for seven straight years, culminating in a record 17.55 million in 2016. That historic pace won't be topped in 2017, with Moody's now projecting a 3.6% drop and another 0.6% decline in 2018. Mercedes AMG we didn't think it looked real, either. But the Project One hypercar is bound for LA yet and it still leaves Americans buying more than 16.9 million new cars this year, and around as many in 2018. And with automakers having reduced break-even points via efficient production and other cost savings over and don't forget transaction prices of option stuff cars reaching all-time highs the softening market still translates to multi-billion dollar profits for major automakers. And since no auto show would be complete without earnest discussions or pompous gas bagging about our transportation future and impending human obsolescence, Automobility LA will look to lure traditional tire kickers with four days of tech conferences demos, and more than 50 vehicle reveals. As for the general public, the Los Angeles Auto Show welcomes them to the city's convention center from December 1st through December 10th. If you're planning on attending, or doing your part to plumb those industry sales, then do check out some of the latest wares in Los Angeles. And check out the Drive Live coverage during the show's media days on Wednesday and Thursday where several more cars will break cover. 2018 Jeep Wrangler The early start of the LA show might seem the craggy-faced relic on PAR with Clint Eastwood. But where most hardcore off-road SUVs have seen sales dry up and several nameplates have died off entirely, the Wrangler has never been more popular. Jeep's tall riding cowboy found nearly 203,000 American buyers in 2015, and about 192,000 last year. Incredibly, the Wrangler never once topped 90,000 annual sales between 1997 and 2006. Built in Toledo, Ohio, the redesigned Wrangler JL comes to showrooms in early 2018. Lightened with aluminum for better fuel economy. Available features include a cool candle evered bikini top, Chrysler's trusty Uconnect infotainment, and two likely engines, a 2.0 liter turbo for and the familiar Tennistar 3.6 liter V6, mated to either a 6 speed manual or 8 speed automatic. Further down the road, a Wrangler-based pickup called the Scrambler will join Standard 2, and four-door models. The hybrid and possibly a diesel are in the works, all designed to keep the Wrangler climbing up the sales charts. Mercedes-Benz the CLs kicked off a body style that's become all the rage, 
the slinky roofed four-door coupe that was promptly mimicked by the Audi A7 and Volkswagen CC, and now utilized by the KIA Stinger and many more. That CLs also signal Mercedes's radical generational shift from sedate, devuncular model to high design, boutique luxury cars, now expressed in everything from the flagship S Class to the AMG GT sports car. That makes an all-new CLs a very big deal. So far, Mercedes has managed to tease auto fans while keeping the new model under wraps before its LA debut. Though some enterprising blogger slash hacker from Azerbaijan is sure to spoil that. Still, we're expecting a mix of the usual and not so usual powertrains, from biturbo sixes and eights to a mild hybrid version. BMW better late than never. 3 Row X7 goes on sale early next year tired of standing on the sidelines while the Audi Q7 and Mercedes GLS class hog the glory and sales. BMW finally has its own 3 row luxury SUV coming in the X7. It's heading to showrooms in fall 2018, built in Spartanburg, SC on the lightweight, carbon fiber enhanced platform of the 7 Series sedan. First shown in Frankfurt, the Concept X7i performance advances the nostalgic trend toward square, more upright SUVs, seen everywhere from the Audi Q7 to Volkswagen Atlas. The interior is sumptuous, including quilted leather seats, a vast panoramic sunroof and the latest toys. The Concept flaunts a plug-in hybrid powertrain likely similar to the battery-boosted turbo for found in hybrid versions of the X5 SUV and the 3 and 5 series sedans. But showroom versions will surely offer the option of turbocharged 6-cylinder or twin-turbo 8-cylinder engines. For bigger fans with fewer children to carry, BMW is also expected to unveil an electric model likely the long a morning roadster version of the i8 hybrid sports car with an electrified X3 SUV a long shot possibility. And if that's not enough, BMW will show the 453 horsepower M3 CS, the most powerful factory M3 in history. Consider stealing the show car off the floor, because just 1,200 copies will be made. Aston Martin Aston Martin Vantage replaces the 12-year-old original if you get tired of gawking at SUVs. Try drooling over the all-new Vantage, which the drives Mike Spinelli did during his sneak peek in Gaten, UK earlier this year taking its knee-wobbling cues from the larger decibels 11 and 007 approved decibels 10. Concept the Vantage amasses 503 horsepower from the Mercedes AMG sourced 4.0 liter by Turbo V8. An 8 speed automatic transmission attends the car's showroom debut, but a 7 speed manual transmission will follow. To purists' delight, particulars include a 3.6 second scamper to 60 miles per hour, a 195 mph top speed and a $149,995 base price. Subaru Ascent is Subaru's first three-row SUV, and its largest by far Subaru can do no wrong these days, so unless it fumbles as embarrassingly as Mark Sanchez, the production version of the three-row Ascent shown in Viz ID7 concept form earlier this year should win its share of former Outback and Forrester families who struggled to master birth control. This seven-passenger SUV is built on the brand's new, lightened Subaru Global Platform SGP platform. Stretching several inches beyond a beefy Ford Explorer, the Ascent will need every ounce of power it can squeeze from its new turbo-boosted boxer for, which displaces 2.4 liters. And where from P styling might stop another SUV dead in its four wheel tracks, Subaru fans never seem to mind. Hyundai shown here in concept form, the Pert, 
Handsome Kona may be a sleeper kit of the show Hyundai looks to continue its remarkable winning streak with the Kona, who's cool. Caffeinated styling might give it a leg up against bladder crossover SUVs. On sale in the first quarter of 2018, the Kona is built on a new compact SUV platform. It offers four-wheel drive, lead headlamps, and a pair of engines, a 2.0-liter, 147 HP for a 1.6-liter turbo for with 175 horses. The stronger engine gets a 7-speed, dual-clutch automatic transmission, or a conventional 6-speed for the 2.0-liter model. A new display audio system allows Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to be run on a central screen. With tiny SUVs proliferating like triples on Star Trek, Nissan gets into the act with the kicks, the subcompact crossover first shown in concept form in 2014 at the Sao Paulo Auto Show. The Mexican-built Kicks, already on sale in Latin America and other markets, is a bit longer and taller than the current Nissan Juke, built to take on models like the Chevy Trax, Honda HRV, and Toyota CHR. Volvo the first XC40S began rolling off the assembly line in Ghent. Belgium on November 22 Volvo couldn't find buyers for small wagons to save its Swedish ass, but the all-new XC40 yet another compact luxury SUV may be a different story. Looking like a cross between a Land Rover Evoque and a Jeep Renegade, this QV Pi aims for a younger, slightly less affluent audience than the larger XC60 and XC90. Flashing some extroverted color and trim choices for the usually sedate Volvo Live at Orange Carpet. Anyone? The XC40 goes on sale next year, battling models including the BMW X1 and Audi Q3. Chevrolet sliced the roof, and likely the wing, and you've got the ZR1 convertible Corvette connoisseurs are always on the hunt for a collectible and the ZR1 especially with an epic changing mid-engine that in the works seems to fit the pricey built. After dropping the ZR1 coupe in Dubai, Chevy is expected to unveil the hair-rending convertible version in LA history's fastest Corvette crank 755 Porsche pissing horsepower from its supercharged 6.2-liter V8. Corvette Han chose to say the latest ZR1 will top 210 miles per hour, and may top a long list of exotics if it can crack the 7-minute barrier at the Enverberg ramming, baited by its gaudy high wing that's said to clamp down with 950 pounds of downforce. Infinity midsize QX50 brings the world's first variable compression ratio engine to production coming to showrooms next year. The new QX50 crossover SUV flaunts an impressive world's first in technology, an engine that can vary its compression ratio on the flight, to boost either performance or fuel economy. The VC turbo engine generates a healthy 268 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque from just 2.0 liters of displacement, mated to a continuously variable transmission. Infinity claims the QX50 will sip unleaded at 27 miles per gallon in both city and highway driving, or 26 miles per gallon for AWD versions. This tech hotbed also debuts Nissan and Infinity's Pro Pilot, the suite of semi autonomous driving aids. 2018 Lexus RX will take the wildly popular Lexus RX midsize SUV. Stretch it to add the coveted third row, and voila, you have the RXL powertrains and designations are equally familiar, via the V6 RX 350L and hybrid RX 450HL Mitsubishi and you thought you'd see a total solar eclipse before you saw a new Mitsubishi how popular are SUVs right now. Even Mitsubishi is banking on one to revive the corpse of its U.S. sales and brand.
Mitsu's first all-new model in several years is a small crossover in the vein of the Jeep Compass for the impressive new Subaru Crosstrek. On sale early next year for roughly $22,000 to start, the Eclipse Cross is definitely not bland. A new dynamic shield grille not to let us schnott treatments. If that's not polarizing enough, the two-part, bisected rear window is already drawing comparisons to Walter White's favorite whip, the maligned Pontiac Aztec. The interior, however, is a major upgrade from current Mitsubishi yes. They still sell Mitsubishi in America and power comes from a new, direct injection turbo for with better than 166 horsepower. Thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel to receive the latest news.